Today at shopdap.com, we're gonna be going over how to erase the airbag light on Volkswagen and Audi models. Okay, so before we get into specifics on how to erase an airbag light on a vehicle like this, let's talk about real briefly what we're gonna be working with. So we are going to be working with an Android tablet and then the OBD11 dongle, which is a, an Android-based app with a dongle that connects via Bluetooth to this device. It is their proprietary software. We do offer it, so we'll have links to that in the description below. And again, purchases for parts like this or any others help support videos just like this one. Now with that said, erasing airbag lights is something that a lot of places might come to a video like this where they're looking to erase it. For example, uh, if the car's been in an accident and, and they've repair, made some repairs in a body shop or something like that, a lot of body shops may not have the scan tools like this that you might require to do that. Now, historically, a lot of those scan tools are much more expensive. This is a much more affordable and kind of consumer-based app uh, that's, that's very good and, and has a lot of powerful ability on Volkswagen Audi models and can access the airbag module and erase it. Now with that said, oftentimes what people will try to erase things on airbag modules and if, it, if you're in a circumstance, for example, it's been an accident, then some of those faults will not erase. Oftentimes, if the vehicle's been in an accident and the airbags have been deployed, the airbag module itself does need to be replaced and in which case, Oftentimes, depending on the model, it may need to be coded to the vehicle, which sometimes you can do with devices like this, but it's really not intended for uh, just laymen to do. It's much more complicated than just as far as plugging in and pressing a couple buttons and you're done. That may be something that you might wanna have a dealer do if you were to be looking to have somebody program an airbag module for you. Now, airbag modules are uh, serviceable and can be purchased. We, we do sell airbag modules. We don't sell a lot of other airbag type items, because they're hazmat material, we don't ship things like seat belts and airbags and stuff like that. You can't get crash sensors and that type of stuff from us. But it's important to know that you will not be able to erase airbag lights on a lot of circumstances. Now, once you make the repair and, and repair either the part and or the module, if that's needed, this device will give you the ability to erase that light. So let's look at how we're actually going to accomplish that. So in this vehicle right now, we have the ignition on and the key uh, the key in the ignition is to turn in the on position. The OBD11 is in the OBD2 port. And we're gonna show you actually how to use this device to erase the airbag light. Now, as we open our OBD11 app, we can take a look here and we can see that we have already scanned and uh, the control units of this vehicle, there are 16 faults in the vehicle. A lot of these faults specifically are because the battery was dead on this vehicle. At one point it did have a bad alternator and the battery was stone dead. So we're gonna go in on this bottom right to open the different modules and we're gonna scroll down and we can take a look right here, it says airbag. And if we go to faults, you can see the faults that are in here. Uh, side airbag igniter, front passenger side, upper order limit exceeded. There's a possibility that this vehicle actually has a bad airbag. Now, I don't know if that's the case. What you would do in this circumstance is if you erase the faults and then and get another fault come back for that, uh, that would mean that you do have something going on with that specific thing and there could be an issue. Now, if this is actually the one in the seat, there was a, uh, on these specific vehicles, I believe there was a recall that you would actually cut out the connector underneath the seat of the passenger side seat because the back and forth motion would cause the connector to kind of have a bad connection, the wires internally. So you'd actually cut off the connectors, splice the wires together, to prevent any poor connection issues from a seat sliding back and forth. So that may be the case as this, and, and it actually may not have a bad, mo a bad airbag itself, uh, but we can just erase these faults. And generally what you can do is we can open it back up and see if there are any faults that come back. There are not. You can also cycle the key to see if the faults come back there, because when you cycle the key, it's gonna test the systems, and then you'll know whether you have an issue still going on there. So we're gonna back out and we'll go back in to our airbag module when you cycle that key. And there does not appear to be any fault. So it's actually possible in this particular circumstance that that seat possibly does have a bad connection, but it's intermittent because it does happen when you move the seat. 
Uh, with that said, that's, that completes our video around how to erase airbag lights on the vehicle. You do only hold down that, that trash can, it'll erase the faults. If your faults do come back, you have something else going on and you do need to make a repair on the vehicle. Now determining exactly what you need to do does require further diagnosis, which you may need professional assistance to do. Thank you so much for watching our video on how to erase airbag lights for Volkswagen Audi models. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this.